Hello and welcome to the session 4 of my Witcher LP. So, yeah, let's jump right into the game. And... Yeah, let's go. I just want to play. That's it. <laughs> Less talking, more, more playing. Here we are at the inn. And there's a new face sitting at the table. So, let's have a chat with him. Because, you know, he seems well off. He's got bling on him and everything. So, yeah. Finally, uh, someone sensible here. And you are? Louvarden. Merchant. Of those Luvardans. Of those or not, I sense you have a job for me. Unfortunately. My friend disappeared in the cave beneath Vizima's walls. You think he's dead? I don't know. I'll pay you 200 orns to rescue him or provide for a decent burial. Will you take the job? Hmm, 200 orns? I think I will. Yeah. We can talk to Odo later. This is... All right. My friend tried to the important. quarantine to enter Vizima. Why through the cave? We heard goods were smuggled into Vizima that way. I'll do what oh. I can. Be careful. My friend has dealt with monsters before. If he's dead, surely danger follows. So yeah. His friend died. And this he's looking for help. So we're going to help him. Gold is important. So a cave beneath Vizima's walls. So this is where Mikul was. And this is where we fought the drowners. And there was no cave here, so what we'll, we're going to have to do is go over here. So we'll head to the bridge. Take a left turn. And the cave should be there. It's gonna be so muddy. Yeah. Probably is. White Myrtle. <sighs> the beast comes for you. I just had a bunch of peanut butter and uh, yogurt, and I'm still feeling peckish. Homes remain free. Um, oh. We must kindle the eternal fire. I won't have to water my garden. Old women a lot of times have Storms tales to tell. My last cow died. The plague hasn't even hasn't spared animals. Hasn't in a while. Oh. Your kind's not welcome here. I could give her some food. That's different. What can I tell you about? Know any tales? Know any tales? Long ago, a plague ravaged the outskirts. No family escaped death's touch. Hunger faced those who survived. Many killed each other for mere morsels of food. Cats and dogs were the first to go, then the rats. Finally, the bodies of the deceased began disappearing. Grave robbers? And turned into ghouls, monsters stripped of humanity, forever hungering after human flesh. Thanks for the story. Farewell. 
I mean, yeah, we knew about this. We read about it in the journal. Ghouls. And by the way, I think that conversation would have opened the ghoul journal entry. So yeah, ghouls are said to have been humans who were once forced into cannibalism. It's raining hard. The thing is, I wonder if I can question her about... Not oh, much more to say. Uh, no. I get sad when it rains. But that's an alternate way of acquiring those journal entries. I wonder if she has anything. My grandson is dying of the plague. Will you show him mercy? What do you mean? Doesn't the White Gull Medicine oh. grant relief? My grandson should die painlessly. It just so happens I think I have some White Gull. Well, that's, that's nice. Thanks. This elixir may help my grandson die in peace. Farewell. Wait. The Reverend refused to help, so I stole his ring. Use it well. Hold on a minute. Now that's new. Did not know about this. Very interesting. Very. Huh. So you... Technically, you don't even have to talk to the Reverend. But then why wouldn't you? Because... You can get so much gold out of him. <laughs> so, yeah. wonder what's the point of that. Well, I can always sell it, I guess. the militia again. I wonder if I... if they'll let me through. Because these guys aren't the same we met last time. They've been killed a bunch of times. No, it's fine. It only triggers once. The conversation. There's the Reverend. I'm not going to talk to him just yet. I want to finish the Warden's quest. Or not, you may prove useful. Okay. Many animals died from plague. I wonder how I'll feed my children. No time! Okay, let's get them some food. Mutton. I only know old fables. I'd gladly hear them. My grandchildren like stories of the drowned dead, like the jilted miller's daughter who tied a millstone round her neck and plunged into the depths. When someone overcome by passion drowns, they arise as the drowned dead. At night, the miller's daughter persecuted the living till the knights of the flaming rose sent her to eternal rest. Huh. The Order of the Flaming Rose eliminates monsters? The Order of the Flaming Rose eliminates monsters? Its knights protect us and ask no reward. Unfair competition, I'd say. Yeah. I'm gonna be out of a job. Knights should fight monsters. Witches are crude. More tales? Folk don't want my Beauclair wines. And I long haven't tasted pork. Wonder if I have any. There's mutton, chicken. But no pork. I wonder if she'll have this. I'm not starving, just eager for some pork. Farewell. We might run into her later, hopefully. Horrible weather. A witcher here. Another ill. Oh, come on. Oh, 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 quickly. Nice. You a witcher? How did you know? Saw one like you recently and asked the reverend. Never learned his name, but he wished to enter the city. Did they let him into Vizima? I know not. He approached the reverend, perhaps for help. Anything else? Nothing I haven't said. That doesn't help me much. Hmm. Yo, yeah, so yeah, she's a butcher.
but I suppose we could question her and see if she has any pork. I kind of want to hear the story. Oh, woman. So, tell me more about... Tell me more about the other Witcher. I know little. So try to remember what you already told me. He spoke with the Reverend, then took his leave. He seemed fearful. Thanks. Hmm. Fearful. This meat looks odd. <laughs> What's it from? You smelling or buying? Shouldn't answer a question with a question. Where it's from is my business. Customers aren't exactly lining up. Hmm. Yeah, so I bet this is pork. Twenty for each. I'll get one. And... There's the woman. There. I think this was her. A witcher here. No. Another ill as it rained hard in a while. Maybe it was her. So. Yeah. So, pork it is. My favorite at last. A fine wine in exchange. Alright. Fine. Medium strength alcohol. This is not. It has to be strong alcohol to work as a base for potions. So, nope. Can't use that. But we could bribe someone with it. I suppose. If we run into anyone with certain tastes. <laughs> So what was that? See that one? It's just fishes jumping up in the river. Hmm. Out of the water. So yeah, here's the cave. Might want to save before we head inside. lives in that cave is far from friendly. <laughs> Judging from the bones. Yeah. So save. And uh, let's see what's in there. Kind of ominous. Damn it, I can offset. Okay, run. 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 Come on. I'm dead. Wow. Okay. Potions again. Um, I think I'm going to have to go in with the sword. Blizzard. Yeah, we'll drink this and some swallow, possibly. Let's try just the blizzard, see if that's enough. So, T was torch. Here it comes.
Oh, that was a lot of experience. We might actually level up when... Oh, but safe. So the torch is stunning them. Which is good to know. Anymore. So it's a... it doesn't last very long. Oh. What is that? Artist for rootstock. I don't remember... ...this ingredient being in the game before. Save. I can keep him stuck. Should be fine. Oof. So three hundred experience per kill. If I need to, I might come here and grind for a bit later on, if I need to. And of course I'll do it off camera. But we're getting ingredients out of these guys, so I'm wondering if... No, we don't have... We don't even know what these are. things are. But yeah, they look like plants, so I'm using the torch. Turned out to be very useful. Come on! Come on! Oof. You're up next. I'm not hitting for much, but... Incineration effect should. Oh, and yeah, so lovely. <laughs> Decayed body. <laughs> Oh, 
Come on. Just die. Ooh. I hope that was all of them. Get this. And human remains. So great. Yeah, the guy died. Like I did. Because I wasn't. Oh, more? Well, sure, I'll have the experience and. Uh, thing about it is that we're getting lots of ingredients. Now then again, we already have vitriol. Lots of it. But, no, it's not a bad thing to have. So, let's go save, first of all. And we'll go outside. We might want to distribute the talent points. So let's see what we have. Six bronze talents. So I can't. Mm -hmm. I was hoping we would get uh, silver talents, but I guess yeah. Oh well. Igni. Hard. I wonder why I can't take this. Oh well. Mm, yeah. No point. Spending any time resting because. Well, actually. Let's get rid of that toxicity. So rest for one hour, or maybe we can make necrophage oil. We don't have any alcohol, so we can't make potions. And I don't want to spend money, <laughs> any more money, on friggin' booze. Mainly because... Well, I want to get the sword. But we still need one more meteorite zone. So I don't... We'll see. <sighs> because I don't... Well, Haren had one. Yeah, but I can't afford it. I'm, I'm not going to spend, you know, another five hours grinding for 500 gold so I can... I should try that. Who did it claim? The lone shark who lived by because I'd need, what, a hundred Bargest skulls? <laughs> no way. <laughs> not doing that. My husband suspects. He'll take I to the bottle as usual. Won't hear a thing. It can get so dangerous at night. Then I'll go elsewhere. All right. Tonight, oh, after Lord. dark. <laughs> <laughs> How much longer? Don't get killed, white-haired one. Oh, so she actually likes me. Delightful. I hope we meet again. Pervy old grandma. These guys don't. Well, that whoring witch has her eye on me. Don't think I have anything worthwhile to say. Abigail sells an ointment for boils. 
Your kind's not welcome here. You sure about that? That's different. What can I tell you about? No any tales? No any tales? Wish to know of Echinops? Oh yes, mm -hmm. very much. Monster plants. Echinops erupt wherever a crime has occurred. They may appear on the barrows of the murdered, or where victims have secretly been buried. Such places are damned, and best avoided, or a witcher should be hired. Something to think about. <laughs> Indeed. So yeah, the things we just fought. Artist boards grow in places where particularly cruel crimes have been committed, or on the tombs of the victims of such crimes. Some crimes are so terrible that they fill people with terror and defend the gods. The criminal's ill will and the cruelty of his deed conceive a curse that brings the artist board to life. The beast attacks innocent creatures hatefully, trying to take vengeance until justice is done. Hmm. So basically, I mean, <laughs> these are all folk tales, right? Basically. So I mean, these things are scavengers, basically. <laughs> for the better, for the lack of a better word. So they, they feed on dead corpses. Possibly the their spores need a dead body as a uh, sort of a platform. So instead of the spore landing on the ground and growing on the ground, it, it needs a dead corpse. <laughs> this is interesting. And same thing for ghouls. Like, I don't believe for a second that just eating human flesh could turn you into a thing like this. So there's, you know, it's a folk tale. Hmm. And drowners, the same thing. So we don't know the actual origin of them. But what we're interested in is this. Susceptibilities and immunities. Yeah. But let's go and see Luvarden. Inform him that his friend has died. No need to rush. Um. <laughs> I suppose. But there's no walk key. So I can't bind it to anything. So I have to run. There's no other option. Be alert. Come on, let me in. Save. In case it crashes. I hope he's still here. Mr. Lovarden. Oh, there he is. Any news? These are your friend's remains. These are your friend's remains. What killed him? Echinopse. I don't know what that is, but I trust you'll fulfill the deal and bury the body. But we agreed. We agreed. A decent burial. Or I won't pay. Fine. What's decent? Lacking anything better? The crypt beneath the Reverend's church. We might also want to check out what he's selling. Any news? Oh, so... Hmm. Yeah, let's... Get rid of these. I already have one. I suppose this is if you somehow manage to, you know, sell <laughs> this one. But it sells for 50 gold. He might also buy the books that I have. Hmm. 
So I still have this. They didn't sell it. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. So we'll go and talk to the Reverend. So I wa might want to make another portion of white gold in case I need it. But yeah, let's go to the Reverend first and see if he'll let us bury the, the remains in the church. I mean, it's just a skull, I think. Yeah. <laughs> They say abandoned houses became monsters' lairs. Well, yeah, we already ran into one ghoul in one of the houses. Oh, here he is. You risk children away, turn them into witches, you should be ashamed. They think of nothing but money. Speak quickly. His beard's no longer flipping around his face. <laughs> um, yeah. I'd like to bury a man. I'd like to bury a man in the crypt beneath the church. Impossible. But the crypt is a place of honor. You think anyone can demand a burial there? And if I were to do something for you to deserve that honor? Serve the eternal fire. Carry the fire to the chapels, and I'll give leave to bury your dead in the crypt. Well, okay, well, I have done that. Speak. I carried the eternal fire to all the chapels. The beasts still haunt us! I told you it wouldn't work. Where's my payment? Ah, yes, your payment. The curse must be stronger than I thought. Doubtless caused by that witch, Abigail. An evil woman. A witch? Maybe she can tell us more. She brought the beast and all other calamities upon us. Perhaps. But I'd rather speak with her first. We must know from whence the beast came. Learn the truth. I will, for three hundred orange. <laughs> Our community's poor. Perhaps two hundred? So be it. Three hundred, I mean, that's... <laughs> so, can I now put him in the crypt? Speak quickly. I'd like to bury a man in the crypt beneath the church. You ignited the eternal fire. I'm grateful. So it's a deal? Inside the crypt lies a crumbling sarcophagus. Crumbling? Rather dig a ditch? No. I'll take the sarcophagus. Okay. Save. No, I, I'm, I'm of the opinion that the Reverend is a hoax and a... Yeah, <laughs> he's basically taking advantage of people. Don't need that. I already have... Or do I? Where is it? There. Yeah, so here's the crypt. Put the remains in the sarcophagus. Hmm? Oh. Remember me? Certainly not. I do. You chased me, you and your ghastly hunting party. I do still, though chase isn't the word. Why is that? 
My task is to see destiny fulfilled. Say I believe you. Will you tell me my destiny? Destiny is a double-edged sword. You are one edge, the other is... Well, I'm not going to say I know what he's talking about. And I don't... really believe in this. I'm a determinist, basically. So, no. So, yeah. Say your piece. You babble, ghost. Say your piece or disappear. If I didn't know, I'd think you speak boldly to mask fear. I shall ever be on your trail. Andrian Var Sauv Leo Turvle what? You mock destiny. You mock it and trifle with it. Destiny is a double-edged sword. You are one edge, and the other is death? No. It's we who die, because of you. Unable to catch you, death contents itself with us. Death stalks you, following in your footsteps, White Wolf. But others die, because of you. Okay. Hello. Fast style. Strong style? Harry? Fast style? He's not. Okay, so he's a spectre. By the oil, oil, come on. Oh, <laughs> come on. That's nice. So I have to apply the oil to kill a specter. I might do it now, actually. Chased me, you and your ghastly hunting party. I do why say You babble ghost. You babble ghost. I Andrian Var Sauv Leo Turvle. Unable to catch you, death Fast style. <laughs> No! This is tough. Hmm. <sighs> okay, so go in once again. Apply the oil. We might want to take a sip of blizzard as well, but for now, let's just go down. And skip the conversations. I what si you be unable. Okay. And the body 
it has disappeared. Oh, and there's a meteorite stone. It's very nice. I wonder if that was actually Leo. But we have a new journal entry. A few, actually. So the King of the Wild Hunt. The King of the Hunt appeared again and appointed one of his raids to fight me. He exploited a weakness. The wraith was the specter of Leo. Hmm, so he, it was Leo. Possibly controlled by him, though. Or possibly not. Maybe he was, wasn't too happy about dying. And he was mad at me. Possibly. Okay. So, Declan Luvarden. I met Declan Luvarden, a rich merchant from Nilfgaard, at an inn in the outskirts. Luvarden seems a resourceful and wealthy man with extensive contacts. He lives in the trade quarter of Vizima. During the day, he can be found on the dike, from where he runs his business. Again, a bunch of information that there's no way we could know at this point. You know, he never mentioned any of this. So maybe Geralt knew him and uh, meeting him again triggered a, a memory or something. I don't know. Hiron Brog is a suspicious character who fears only the referent. He sneers at the law and surrounds himself with thugs who protect his shady dealings. Brog lives in the outskirts in the little lakeside settlement that he rules outright. He never strays far from his home. Brog runs a store trading in weapons and alchemical ingredients used to produce bombs. Leo. I saw Leo's face again, this time on a specter. It reminded me that I failed in the cellars of Kermorin. Yeah. Not too happy about that. Miku stands guard at the gate to Vizima. A mysterious mage. Using the salamander symbol is a skill. Ah, uh, we've already read these, so why? I don't know. Harry Barian? Wait a minute. I guess Harren mentioned this. Do we have the parcel? Yes, we do. Bandit's package from Harren. That we need to deliver to Coleman at the Harry Bear. Which is a place for indiscriminate clientele. The innkeeper obviously holds back on the lie. Though he waters down the ale generously enough. Patrons share the thin mattresses with rats. But most everyone can find their entertainment of choice here. Illegal fistfight enthusiasts, hustlers and drunkards will all find something to do at the Harry Bear. We've already read these. Characters, formula, Greenford oil. So yeah, an oil causing pain to a wounded creature. Long lasting. The formula for this substance comes from the city of Greenford, where it is widely employed by dark characters of all kinds. Hmm. Inspector oil. Ingredients, elves. Yeah, we we have read these, so for some reason the game hasn't saved the changes. But I think we now have three meteorite stones. It might have been nice because I remember Harin had a blue one, which would have 